Thanks, Marcus. You know, several local governments are calling for tenant protections in communities that are just trying to make it in the Bay, but some landlords are pushing back. Let's check in with Today in the Bay's Chris Sanchez. She's uh, got more on what's on the table here. Chris? Well, hi there, Laura. Yeah, a number of Bay Area communities have tried to take their tenant protections a little farther than even what the governor suggested uh, back in March. I want to show you what's on some of our local agendas for today. In San Jose, the city council is talking about temporarily freezing rent increases through the end of the year. And Alameda County supervisors will talk about extending eviction moratorium protections to commercial tenants impacted by COVID-19. And in Richmond, an interesting talker here, the Council is going to talk about suspending rents and mortgages for the duration of the shelter in place state of emergency. Certainly, that would be huge if that happened. In East Palo Alto, the council will also take up the issue of commercial tenant protections against evictions. Now, Governor Newsom's executive order enacted March 16th remains in place everywhere across the state but also gives local government the ability to take protections even farther. This has not been, though, without pushback from landlords who say they can't afford not to bring in that rental income. These tenant protections will be even more critical as we move forward through a week where we expect that we will see uh, layoffs double here in the Bay Area based on the filings with the employment office. The employment office has to get notice from company if they plan to uh, lay off or furlough their workers and we do expect to see a spike this week so definitely uh, tenant protection is something a lot of folks will be uh, leaning on. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez, today in the Bay.